One of the most shocking things about the story of the cross, which is shocking in so many dimensions, is the challenge that some of the bystanders were throwing in Jesus' face as he hung there being tortured to death. If you are the Son of God, then why don't you come down from the cross? And with that, if we listen for the echoes, we can hear the resonance all the way back to the temptations of Jesus in chapter 4. If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become bread. If you're the Son of God, throw yourself down and all people will believe in you. And now, if you're the Son of God, then what are you doing on that cross? In other words, the challenge to Jesus that maybe he was a failed Messiah, maybe he was just another one who thought he was God's anointed and now discovers too late that it was just a foolish dream. So often as we follow Jesus, and perhaps particularly in Lent, we get to the point where we think, have I just been wasting my time? What Was this all a mistake? Did I just imagine it? Maybe it's so dark that I can't see what's going on and maybe I have to give up the whole thing. And that's when, in Lent particularly, we have to stay there. There's that wonderful ancient Latin poem which people set to music, Starbat Mata, which is the mother of Jesus standing at the foot of the cross. And like that, we have to stand at the foot of the cross. We have to hear the challenge which comes to us, the challenge in which all our temptations are summed up. Will you stay here with Jesus? Will you watch by the foot of the cross? Are you prepared to remain there in the darkness, even without understanding? Jesus himself, we believe, according to the letter to the Hebrews, was tested in every way like we are, yet without sin. And that testing, I think, was also emotional, was also in understanding. He had followed his vocation as the Emmanuel, the Son of God. And now, at the last, he shouts out, My God, why did you abandon me? That's one of the darkest moments in the whole of Scripture. And it seems to me it says something about what it means, that God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, that God is the God of utter self-giving love, because self-giving love is what goes to where the world is darkest and stays there in love in order that the world may be redeemed. That is the Lenten challenge. It was so for Jesus. It is so for us too.